you sure you're up for this tiny style big adventure, Pierce? It might be too advanced for a pocket power beginner. Polly, please. I've been going pocket size for one, two, three and a half days now. Bring it on. Three, two, go! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Polly! Let go! Watch out! What? <laughs> Hi, Mom. Did you see that? Polly set up the most amazing, most dangerous pocket size course ever. I saw my life flash before my eyes. And wow, I have spent a lot of time looking at myself in the mirror. <gasps> you two, living room, now, normal sized. You really launched from the top of the stairs? Peter! I mean, uh, your mom's right. It's very dangerous. What if she hadn't been carrying soft, clean laundry for you to land in? What if she were carrying a plate of bacon that was sizzling hot or a, a basket full of sharp scissors? But it wasn't really dangerous because I had it all planned out. We knew Pax was with Grandma today, so no baby wild card. Plus, we had safety gear. Helmets, pads, parachutes. <laughs> I've had the locket for a long time and I've never gotten hurt. But we've only known about it for a few days. Knowing what that locket is capable of, your dad and I think there should be some limitations on how you use it and how much you have it. Limitations? Are you saying you don't trust me? It's not you. It's more that we don't trust the locket and how powerful it is. But I have its power under control. Well, I've learned my lesson, so I'm going to the skate park where I will safely skate full-sized. Whoa, whoa, slow your roll there, mister. No going out until you've done your chores. Ugh, fine, I'll do my chores. Ugh. Mom, Dad, I get that you're a little worried, but give me a chance to prove that I have the locket's power under control even when I'm having fun with it. What do you say, Pamela? I'm up for a little demonstration if you are. <laughs> Pun intended. Safe, controlled fun coming right up. Go big! <laughs> I believe I have proven that not only do I have my locket powers under control, but its uses go far beyond just having fun. No limitations necessary. I don't know, sweetie. It still seems dangerous for you to always have such a powerful device around your neck. But, but it has a heart on it! Heart equals harmless and cute and never dangerous. You said the locket is powered by gears, right? One little speck of dust could mess that right up. But I keep it so clean. Here, look for yourself. Just need a little more light. There. Hmm. The precision is quite impressive. What's the saying again? Little time? No, Dad. It's mm. tiny power. Right. <laughs> Magic words are so hard to remember. I don't get why saying tiny power... Mommy! Dad! Oops. Uh, shouldn't have said tiny power. Like smaller. <gasps> Pierce! Oh. 
Okay, so I'm okay. Polly Pie, Pammy. You're alive. Oh, thank goodness, Polly. Okay, enough proving I have Tiny under control. Let's go big! Oh no, Dad still has my locket. Does he even know how to go big? Oh, he's always had trouble with magic words. Pete? Honey? Where are you? Peter Parkin! Come on, he has to be this way. Do you hear something? <gasps> ah, yeah. Oh, so now Pierce takes doing his chores seriously. Get down and hold on! Polly! I can't hold on! Good enough. Wow. I never thought I'd be happy that Pierce wasn't very thorough with the vacuuming. That's it. Got it. Got it. I don't got it. Everything's so huge. Wait, is that what Polly said earlier to go back to normal size? Go huge! Enlargen! Expandus Fatherus! Uh, well, this is all your fault. I'm so over this, this tiny power! <gasps> I've gone molecular! Polly, we almost got vacuumed. Which is why I need to get my locket back. I have tiny power under control, but Dad clearly doesn't. Well, how are we gonna find him? <gasps> the same way we do when he's lost at the grocery store. We call him! Oh, but I don't have my phone. You? It's on the table. That's a long ways. Where'd everybody go? Oh well, just gotta do the dishes. Mom, let's catch some leg. <laughs> Come on, Mom. Polly! <laughs> gotcha. No one's getting squished on my watch. Snuggle Bunny. Don't judge our love. <sighs> and the next thing I know, I'm here with no clue how to get back to my normal size. I know it's some combination of magic words, but I just can't remember. Oh, wait! Was it big time? <sighs> I guess I live here now. Hi, this is Peter. Dad! Holy! Oh, thank goodness, you won't believe what happened. Repeat after me. Go big. Go big? I'm back! Woohoo! It worked! I'm normal again. Great, Peter. Now come get us. We're on the table next to my phone. Oh, there you are, smoochy crumpet. So? I'm good with the locket never leaving Polly's neck again. Pam? Well, I agree that the best home for the locket is with Polly at all times. Though 
Oh, I will want to double check all your pocket sized stuff to make sure it's safe. Yes! I can't wait to show you Polyville. We'll have so much fun! Maybe after we've had a little more time to process. The Atomic Universe was something else. Well, I almost got vacuumed. Chores are done. Hey, Polly, can you grow this for me? Whoa, what happened to you two? Oh, I think I know the deal here. You are so blown away by my cleaning skills that you're speechless. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> welcome to Pollyville. A pool in your room? Whoa! Oh, water slide! I call dibs! Race ya! No way. The angle of that slide won't land you in the pool. You'll crash into a buffet table. Buffet? Huh? I mean, it's dangerous. That's a no on the water slide. But I bet there's something else in here we can do for pocket family fun. Yeah. How about the pocket alley? The one and only gumball bowling alley. Dibs on the purple one. Nah. -uh. Chewing gum is dangerous. What? We're not even chewing it. No chewing gum. But that doesn't make sense. Let's not get all humdrum about gum now. Polly Pie, you have something fun and safe for your mom, right? I guess so. The Pocket Drive-In. Everyone gets their own car. Oh, classic and cool. Nice, Polly. Dibs on the convertible. No, no, no. Mom. Do you not understand dibs? These toy cars don't have any sort of braking system, and things on wheels can be very dangerous. Nothing bad will happen, Mom. Just give it a chance. Oh, really? <laughs> we always say at work, chance takers are accident makers. Polly. Before you use this stuff again, you need to get rid of all the dangers, like wonky angles, gumballs, and wheels. Really, Mom? Ugh, fine. I guess the Polyville tour is over. I thought Mom would be impressed with everything I've built, but she's all safety, safety, safety. Need a hand fixing up Polyville? <sighs> no. I need a hand getting mom to worry less and have more fun. She worries because she loves you. But your mom knows how to have fun. She used to be quite the daredevil in her roller derby days. What? A daredevil? Roller derby? No way. Oh, oh yeah. She loved roller derby. This is so cool. Why did mom stop? I haven't played roller derby since the accident. Fifteen years ago, I was about to win it for the Littleton Lappers. Until... Ricky Roll and her chewing gum. most embarrassing moment of my life. But it would have been even worse if I had hurt Pierce or your dad. So I stopped. I just couldn't take that chance anymore. <laughs> and that's why we've never taken you kids to a buffet. Hmm. <sighs> huh? Come on, Mom. Don't you miss the crowd chanting your name? Pamela, Pamela, Pamela! No. Well, maybe. <laughs> and actually, my derby name was Jamila. <laughs> but I'm too old for that now. You're never too old to have fun. Time to get back on the horse. Holly, I smell a scheme here. Okay, I thought maybe if I could help you get back on your skates, you'd ease up on some of your rules at Polyville. That's not happening. And neither is roller derby. Chance takers are accident makers, remember? I thought you'd say that. So I made you the safest track ever. No chances taken. No danger, just fun. And we'll do it together. <laughs> okay, I'll give it a try. Yeah! A 
Okay, Mom. Ready? Ready. I think. See, Mom? You're doing great. Wow. This brings back so many memories. <laughs> whoa, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I remember a lot of tumbles, too. <laughs> yeah! That's two for Polly. Best four out of seven. I'll beat you this time. <laughs> out of my way. Point for Jamila! <laughs> oh, watch where you're going! Relax! I got this. I was the best jammer in the tri-state area. You keep saying that like I know what a jammer is. Okay, jammers are the fastest and most daring skaters on the team. And most importantly, the only one who can score. The rest of the players are called blockers, and their job is to stop the other team's jammer. And I was unstoppable. My move was the whippy back flippy. Here, give me a whip. <laughs> Whoa! How'd you do that? Lots of practice and lots of crashing. <laughs> <sighs> wow, that was fun. I didn't realize how much I miss roller derby. Well, I have another surprise. I invited everyone for a reunion at your old <gasps> track. What? <laughs> I haven't seen these skaters in forever. But I'm still so out of practice. What'll they think? They'll think you're great. Mm. Oh, thanks, Polly. Well, I better get ready. Hey, skatemates! Oh, Jamila, how are you? Oh, my goodness, your oh, hair! Oh, my Jamila, you haven't changed a oh. bit. Hey, is this your daughter? A future jammer like her ma, huh? <laughs> it's so good to see everyone. I I'm glad Polly was able to bring the team together. <gasps> Ricky, roll. Hey, we booked the track for today. <gasps> Oh, no! I didn't check the track schedule! Oops. She's taunting me with that buffet table. Hey! Those snacks are for Littleton Lappers only! Well, it's here during the Derby Dare's practice. Unless you want to scrimmage for a sandwich. You did great on the track yesterday. You've got this, Mom. I'm in. Me too! Let's skate. Jam a la! Jam a la! <laughs> What's wrong, Dad? Oh, I'm Jamala. worried about your mom. Jamala. I forgot how hard it is to watch these matches. She's gonna do great. Oh, well. <laughs> uh. I can't watch. me down this time. You still upset about the bubblegum incident? Admit it! You gummed me up on purpose! No, I didn't! Yes, you did! Did not! Did too! Did not! <laughs> Penalty box! Both of you! Now! It's her! She started it! didn't do nothing. No, no! Hey, Mom! Everything okay out there? Yeah! I forgot how much fun this is. Thanks for putting this together, Polly. You should watch out for Ricky Roll. I don't trust her. Hey, Jamala! Jamala, Ricky, back in the game! Whoop, whoop! <laughs> Come on, skates! Just a little more! <gasps> oh no! Mom's skate wheel! <laughs> I have to help her! <laughs>
Transformers win! Yeah! <laughs> I just wanted to tell you. Good game! Oh, uh, thank you. You too. I was worried about your skate. I tried to tell you. So... that wasn't sabotage? Of course not! I know it's years too late, but I'm sorry. I should have never been chewing gum on the track. I always say, chance takers are accident makers. I've heard that somewhere before. Thanks for looking out for me, kiddo. No problem. You're always looking out for me, too. Hey, want to help me bring Polyville up to code? Absolutely. Water slide! I call dibs! No, not yet, Pierce! <laughs> oh, oh, you're not oh, gonna... Oh, you did this, Stop it. So, the campers heard the monster's laugh coming from the dark, spooky, haunted woods. <laughs> There was nowhere to hide from this laughing monster who loved the taste of Paxton! Are there Paxton-eating monsters? No, Paxton just bit me! Phew! That does make more sense. Ow! Mean baby brother! He's not mean, Polly. Sometimes we make wrong assumptions because we didn't look below the surface. <laughs> and below the surface of poor Pax's gums, he's teething. <laughs> Poor kid wants to chomp and drool on everything. It's a phase all babies go through. Ugh, I hope he hurries through this phase or buys us all gloves. I know Paxton eating monsters aren't real, but what about marshmallow eating monsters? Because this bag was full. We would have noticed a monster, especially from this perspective. A little rain can't keep the brave pockets from camping. <laughs> Monster! Let's go home! But the camping fun just started! <laughs> Polly, uh, why don't we go look below the surface and investigate the woods? And, uh, not just because I need a better signal to check my work email. Let's do this! Go big! Hmm. At least it's not raining in this part of the woods. <sighs> but I'm not getting a better signal! I think I hear our marshmallow thief. Um. <laughs> Bigfoot! Hey, Polly! Bigfoot, this is my mom. Pleasure to meet you, Mrs. P. I thought you were living back at Area 59. I am. Visiting my folks here. Can't beat the cooking and free laundry. What are you doing in the woods? Camping. Hey, while we look for our marshmallows, would you keep an eye on the rest of the family? Of course. Nice to be asked for something beyond directions. Thanks, Bigfoot. They'll appreciate the protection. They're convinced there are monsters in these woods. <laughs> <laughs> Wild. See you, ladies. M monsters? Huh. Well, according to this camp map, there's a hill over. <gasps> I heard something over there. <gasps> World's cutest marshmallow thief. <gasps> when I said look below the surface, I did not expect to find tiny horses and big foots. <gasps> you don't have to hide from us, little one. We're nice. See? Go big. A pocket-sized horse. I wonder. Go big. Go big. Go big. Hmm. That must be its regular size. Tiny horse with a magic head? Work can wait. All right, just sang Paxton to sleep with my classic micro opera. <laughs> Secure the campsite! Good thing I brought a campsite security system. Your mother called it a, quote, ah! waste of money, end quote, but I call it Brian, with a Y. Yeah, that laughing monster that Polly told us haunts the woods won't get us now. Laughing monster? 
<laughs> There's no such thing as a laughing <laughs> monster. Okay, that cannot be comfortable. Let's get on her level. Tiny power! Aw, we should name her. Hmm, what about Marshmallow? Hi, Marshmallow. What are you doing out in the woods alone at night? I think that's her family. And that must be Marshmallow. Mom instincts activate. Okay, this baby is separated from her mama. Unacceptable. We must reunite them. Great thinking, Mom. But how? Well, my mom instincts, or as I call them, mom stinks. <laughs> I'd stick with mom instincts. Yeah, whatever we call them. They say, hmm. <gasps> Marshmallow left a trail. And if we follow the horse's glitter marks, they'll lead us back to Marshmallow's home. Come on, girl. Let's go find your family. Time to turn on the maximum security system, protective laser hug of safety, and supercharged supersonic fencing. Aye, Brian. In three, two, one. Okay, man. It's just a storm. <laughs> Get away! Get away! Uh, oh. Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Hey, you lost? I think it's this way. <gasps> I think it was a Winnie. This way. Whoa. This is not on the map. Real life, real tiny unicorns? <laughs> oh, really worried, unicorns. Those parents are missing their baby. Go, Mom Stinks, go. Oh, yeah, I hear it now. Marshmallow isn't a unicorn. She's a horse. Wait! Don't go, Marshmallow! <sighs> I gotta look below the surface, don't I? Mm-hmm. I assumed you were a horse, but maybe I was wrong. Maybe you just haven't gotten your unicorn horn yet. Is that why you're upset? You want me to touch your forehead? unicorns having the power to communicate telepathically? Uh, there's nothing I won't believe after tonight. Your head's bothering you, huh? That's why you keep rubbing it. It's like my baby brother. He's teething. I thought it was annoying for me, but I never thought about how annoying it must be for him. Sometimes we can be hard on the babies of our families, but that doesn't mean we don't love them. I love Pax more than anything, and I know your family loves you too. And I bet they miss you. Go on, Marshmallow. Your family needs you. <laughs> hey, I got your baby! Ah! Monster! <laughs> oh, whoa, Rose! You see, I met Polly and Mrs. P in the woods and... He ate Polly and Mom! No! Not like that. <laughs> My mom instincts say there's trouble at the campsite. We better hurry back. What do you say, Mom? To riding a unicorn? I say giddy up! <laughs> Stay back! Wait, wait! I'm trying to protect you! How could you protect us from you? From me? I'm not the monster. I prefer the term cryptid. Whoa! 
Stop biting me, baby bro! And a boy, Pax? Show that monster what your baby teeth did to my favorite telescope! I'm Polly's friend! Please, take this baby off my hands! Oh! <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> uh, sorry for assuming you were a Pax the eating monster. <laughs> no way! More of a salty snacks guy. And the Yeti said, <gasps> You're okay! <gasps> oh, it's you. And some unicorns. Hi. Thanks for looking after the guys while we were gone, Bigfoot. No problemo. They showed me their security system, and I learned how many teeth the baby has. Thanks for the ride, unicorn family. Want to get out of the rain and join us for some roasted marshmallows? <laughs> Oh, no. Not again. Marshmallow? Marshmallow got her horn! <laughs> All right! Okay. Hey, Pax. Sorry for earlier. Guess I just need to give you some time to grow into your horn, too. Love you, Polly. Aw, love you, too, Pax. Who wants more? Oh, man, you gotta be kidding. <laughs>